Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Worcester today. Just see the cathedral over there. This is Worcester Shrub Hill Railway Station. Now Worcester's known for its two railway stations, Worcester Shrub Hill, and just about, probably as the crow flies, half a mile or so that way, there's Worcester Fourgate Street. But a week ago, a third railway station opened in the city, or should I say, on the outskirts of the city. And that's where we're going today. We're gonna travel to Worcestershire Parkway. So I'm gonna go and buy my ticket for the journey, then I'll tell you a bit about it. So I've just purchased my ticket to Worcestershire Parkway. It is also valid to Fourgate Street as well. So on the way back, I might, I might not stay on to Fourgate Street just, you know, for the run. So here we are at Worcester Shrub Hill. I really like this railway station. It's a very traditional feel to a railway station. It's, you know, everything a railway station should be. It's still got semaphore signals. That's why I'm walking down this end of the platform so I can show them to you. There's a train that will form a train through Birmingham out. It's probably going to go to Dorwich, so it will go along to Kidderminster and then through Stourbridge, through Birmingham, Snow Hill, and then eventually terminate Dorwich down the Chiltern Main Line. There was, till fairly recently, a bridge there, a cargo bridge, but that's been taken out. I think, I'm not entirely sure if anyone wants to confirm, the plan might be to put it back, but with lifts in to make the station fully accessible. But I'm not entirely sure, but if someone does want to clarify that, then um, please do comment and tell me. So here we are, here's the array of semaphore signals. It's really nice, you know, to see semaphore signals still in use, controlling, you know, everyday trains and their movements about the area round the corner over there Worcester Fourgate Street also has semaphore signals as does Droitwich Spa so it's um it's really nice I think you know they're still being used and there's some more down that way so what we've got to do we've got to wait for the train which will take us through to Worcestershire Parkway and it's going to be a train from Hereford so it'll be two of the new Great Western 800s or 802s. I call them cucumbers because they're long and green and look like a cucumber when, especially when they're kind of curving around the corner. But before we do that, it's something else I'd like to show you at this railway station. One of the reasons why I really like this railway station as, you know, a bit more than some of the others I do. I mean, I like any railway station, but particularly like this one. I'll oh, just so you can see them there. Look, it's some little shunt signals known as dollies. Now, you can see those sort of wires going like that they're what go from the signal box to the signals themselves so they when the man in the signal box the signalman pulls the lever those wires move and the signal which could be you know a fair distance away the signal then goes into place and sets the route up for the driver of the train so i'm now going to take you over the bridge this bridge here we're going to go and have a look at something on the other platform and then i'm going to come back over here to catch the train to worcestershire parkway which is currently the newest railway station in britain it only opened a week ago so it's always exciting to be you know i'm not the first to visit it quite a few people enthusiasts went on the first day but you know visit it as early as i possibly can so we're now up here, up on the bridge. So that way looks towards London and eventually down to Gloucester and Cardiff, etc. And then that way looks towards Birmingham. Problem is with Worcester is because it's kind of off the main line that goes up by the, the Licky Incline, on the whole, long distance trains don't come through here. But Worcestershire Parkway is going to have some of the long distance trains stopping there. So what that means is if you do live in Worcester you'll be able to catch a train from here or Fourgate Street to Worcestershire Parkway and then from there you'll be able to catch a train either up or down the country. Have a look on this bench, still got GWR on it which I think is really nice. The station would have once had an overall roof. Now what I wanted to show you down here because I think they're really cool are the waiting rooms. They're possibly the most ornate waiting rooms on any railway station. I believe they were 
the tiles are to show off what can be done. So the tiling companies up in the Iron Bridge area and the ironwork company. So you've got this lovely ironwork here. And you've got all these different tiles, which, you know, make a very attractive waiting room. You know, you've got tiles down there. You've got a motif around the top. Let's just go in, have a look. I think they're more spectacular on the outside, but here we are. Nice old wooden benches. The other thing I find quite interesting is they've been extended at one point. So if we go, yeah, we can get this one. The next one is private. I think that's possibly like, ooh, that was the door blowing shut. Possibly like a staff room. There goes the train to Dorwich. I'm not catching that one. It's going in the wrong direction. So what, what I've noticed here is it looks as though they've been extended because when you get to this one, the tiles stop. It's a bit plainer. They carry on down below, but they don't carry on up here. So I think they must have extended them, but they are really like the most ornate waiting rooms. They would have been done really more as to show what can be done to, you know, prospective buyers could have been traveling by train and they think, well, that looks nice. I want those tiles, you know, in my kitchen or wherever. So, you know, I think that is, these are, my favorite waiting rooms on the whole of the national network i'm now gonna go over to the other side and i'm gonna wait for my train to worcestershire parkway So we are now approaching Worcestershire Parkway. The line which goes down towards um, Cardiff goes just over there, you can't quite see it. And the line from Cardiff up to Birmingham will cross directly underneath us. So we'll go down and have a look on those platforms. So we're just pulling into the station now. They haven't made an announcement to say that we are, but we are be interested if anyone else does get off the train at Worcestershire Parkway. So, just walk through and um, we're going to see this new station. I'm quite excited because it's always good to see a new railway station opened. And um, yeah, uh, here we are. We're, we've arrived. There we go. She's telling us we are arriving at Worcestershire Parkway. So from our first views, it all looks quite exciting, but we're going to get outside and have a look around the whole of the station and really see what there is. It's further away from the city centre than I thought. You know, it really is quite a long way. So let's get off the train, wait for the thing to light up. There we go. We we'll step off the train. If we walk up here, we can watch the train depart. It feels like we really are in quite a rural area. We'll have a look at the view from the station in a moment. So this is a single track the, This is on this platform. This is the line towards London Paddington. Well, it goes to Oxford first, then London Paddington, through places like Morton in Marsh, and really through the heart of the Cotswold. So there we are, it's our 800, 800 Let's watch it disappear. So that is this train. So this is obviously platform three. While we wait for the train to go, let's just have a little look from what we can see. So there's the main station building over there. You can see the other platforms on the line to the north. There is somewhere over there, there's a monastery, not a ruined monastery, but a monastery as in the modern sense. But I don't think I'm gonna have time to go and check that out today. I can just see in the distance. I don't know if the camera's picking it out, the Malvern Hills. This train gonna go? I think so. I think it's been dispatched. 
and now the wind's picking up I can mess up my hair a little bit more and we're going to go and see the rest of the station god the wind is picking up while i'm waiting here one thing i will just say i know people have said about there not being much of a waiting room on the platform although i can see a waiting room because i've heard they want people to wait in the main station building but we'll um we'll have a look at that i'll see what i think on that one i i can't i can understand yes it's a bit cold to wait up here but there is a little waiting shelter right is that the guard i think he's about to get on the train and dispatch it there we go he's blown his whistle so we're going to watch the train disappear and then we're going to go and look around the rest of this of britain's newest railway station They've been opening various partways over the last sort of few years. There's, um, there was Oxford Parkway, there's Stratford upon Avon Parkway. I filmed a Great Western Castle go through there. Have a look at that out for that video. There we go, the train's going now. So as the cucumber disappears, let's go and explore the station. So we are just on the outskirts of Worcester. It pretty much is, as you can see, countryside beyond here. Has a very desolate feeling. There is someone else on the platform. I don't know if they got off the train. I think I might have been the only person who got off the train. Oh look, my hair looks a bit better now. The wind's blowing it over. There's a sort of pond down there. There's a, a stream flowing through the site. You'd get quite a good view. If a steam train was to run along that line, you'd get quite a good view of it going through here. Okay, yes, you've got this bit interrupting in the middle, but it's, um, yeah, it's quite a good view. So this, there is a shelter on the platform. Yes, I see what they mean. It's not an enclosed shelter, but to me, this is all right. There's a rather large bridge structure. It's quite a mega structure, and that's your main station building. It looks like there's some bus shelters down there. So. I think a bus route might be being altered to stop here. So if you lived in the villages that way, you could potentially get a bus here and then get a train from here into Worcester or anywhere else for that matter. I think the other thing is, the main thing its function is going to be is, well, two things. One is to stop people driving into Worcester so they can get their train here, whether that be for work or for onward travel. The other is it'll act as an interchange. So say if I was going to Cardiff, I could get a cross-country train from the low-level platforms. One other thing I've just noticed that's quite interesting is it might be the newest railway station in Britain, but it's got semaphore signals. Obviously, the semaphore signal would have been there already, but it's still quite a nice little fact. So there you are, there's a semaphore signal. I don't know if you can see it, but there is one there where the camera's picking it out. So there's the main lines down there. Now, there's another footbridge. Now, to me, that looks like that's a footbridge that's outside the station. So people don't have to use the station to get from one side to the other. It must be a pre-existing footpath. Whether there was a bridge before, I don't know. So this is, well, it really is quite big, quite a big structure. So my plan is to take you around the whole of the station. I haven't been here before, so I'm exploring as I show you. It's, it's a strange sort of feeling because I'm like the only one here. The main ticket hall is down there, which you can now see the roof of. There's a windmill over there. Uh, so I believe there's a monastery somewhere over there. It's huge, this bridge, it's enormous. Um, I think, yeah, this is um, quite a good place for watching trains because you've got two railways. There's a train, the next train to stop at this station is to Worcester Shrub Hill, which is probably the one I'm going to get. So that probably means we're not going to see any other stopping trains, but hopefully we'll see some pass through. But if we don't, well, um, just one of those things. So there's the low level platforms. Let's go down and have a look at them and then we'll go out the front of the station and I want to walk over the new footbridge. What, I don't know, is there an entrance out there? We'll find out that one in a minute when we get down down here. So I'm, I'm really pleased, you know, to see a new railway station open. We, we can never have enough railway stations, but this, is, this isn't a reopening like some modern railway stations are. This is a completely new 
railway station. There wasn't a, a station here before. Um, yeah, it's quite quite a structure that. So I quite like um, the fact that here we are at this brand new railway station. Yes, yeah, so there are shelters down here, so that's good. It's interesting. So the station's obviously managed by Great Western Railway. So there we are, there's a station sign. It says Worcestershire Parkway. It's got the GWR logo on it, but their trains never actually stop here. The, this is purely served by cross country. Let's have another, there you are, see Worcestershire Parkway, GWR. So um, that's good to see. I'm really pleased about that. Let's go and have a look up there. So there is, like I said, there's the line we came in on. There's this line. There is also a third line, which doesn't have a platform over there. So it forms. So you can get from Worcestershire Park, uh, Worcestershire Up Hill rather, onto this line, but you can't. So a, a, really, a train could go that way. That's what I was trying to say. If you wanted to do that journey, though, you'd probably have to come, you know, by train and change here. So is there an entrance out this way? That's what I'm wondering. Um, possibly, or is that just a fire exit? I think it's just a fire exit. There is a gate up here. Yeah, so it looks like we can't go out that way, but that, yeah, it's all locked. So if I was to have a criticism of this new railway station, it'd be if you've walked from there, you've got to go up all the way over that bridge and then come back in again. To me, I would have had another entrance here. So that that is my kind of one criticism of the new station. We're now going to go up here in the lift. And we'll go out the front and just see what we can see from the front. I was going to show you the view out, but it's all a bit steamed up due to today's weather. We'll go out the front of the station and um, we'll, we'll just have a look, see what, what there is. It's not a lot. I agree, but then we're not in, the, I wasn't expecting a town centre. I knew this was, you know, um, on the edge of the city. So we're back up here again. So let's go down and out the front of the railway station um, and we'll perhaps go for a walk over that footbridge just because we can. So we came from that way. I'm just sort of impressed just how kind of vast and spacious and light and airy it is. That's what I like about this station. It's, you know, it's, I just like it really. It's enormous right down here so there's no ticket barriers interestingly on all drawings i ever saw of this before it opened it always showed it as having ticket barriers but there isn't any whether they will put ticket barriers in in the future i don't know but we let's go out here we'll see the front of it so um you know, there's the ticket office just there so i can sort of almost imagine a line of ticket barriers there's toilets there it says station cafe coming soon so there will soon be a cafe and we go out here that's where we came in on up there so we're kind of in the apex now of the two railway lines it nicely says in big letters welcome to worcestershire parkway and there's a huge br double logo signs and i can hear a train um I know which line that's on just heard a, a horn see it looks like buses do come round here so you can get a bus here so that's good I want to go over that other footbridge though let's go and see where that goes that is huge that must be one one of the biggest double arrow signs in Britain I can hear but not see a train I think yeah we are the cross-country voyager not stopping that's possibly working say from the west country up to well it could be anywhere up as far as glasgow really or scotland anywhere in scotland possibly they do do some quite long distances for short trains so now this is the public right away which i assume was pre-existing what i don't know is before the station opened how did passengers cross the line because to me the footbridge looks like it's new so i'm wondering did was there a older footbridge which has been taken down or was there a foot crossing quite a structure that as well so again my like i said my only criticism is really 
the fact that there isn't an entrance there especially now while they haven't got ticket barriers i can sort of understand when they have ticket barriers they want everyone obviously to pass through so no one can you know fair dodge but they can still have ticket barriers if they had an entrance say there that's the one thing i'd say i don't like about this railway station other than that i'm um you know very complimentary i'll tell you what'll be fun though see that stairway up to the roof which clearly isn't for people like me to go up it's for maintenance staff they should have a roof garden up there imagine a cafe on the roof of the stations you could sit there and have a coffee and watch trains that would be amazing unfortunately this bridge is a bit too high to see over although if you hold your camera high you get a good view of trains passing so i'm gonna probably leave it here it's a bit windy so the footpath goes down and off there there you can see both railways let's get out the wind and um, well let's just have a let's let you have a better look at that it was a bit quick i agree so there's the two railway lines there is a third spur over the other side of that field other than that hope you enjoyed watching this video and you know you may end up changing trains or possibly traveling from this railway station in the future so please you know do feel free to like subscribe comment and um Thank you very much for watching from the bridge outside of Worcestershire Parkway, but in the middle of Worcestershire Parkway. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.